Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, we are going to walk through it step by step. Beginning with this first term, you know that we can rewrite this as log to base 4 of x to power 4 over 3 to power half. Of course, the power half is because of this square root. And here we have 3 times log to base x of 16x, and this is equal to 7. Now look at this second term. Here we have 16x, which of course is equal to 16 times x. And remember that log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So we have log to base 4 of 2 into 4 is 2. This is x to the power 2 over 3 plus 3 into. Now let us break this up. We have log to base x of 16 plus log to base x of x. And this is equal to 7. Now the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. That is the rule that says that we can bring this exponent down to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. So when we apply that rule to this, we have 2 over 3 times log to base 4 of x. Let us open this bracket. This is plus 3 times log to base x of, let us write 16 as 4 squared. And of course, you know that log to base x of x is equal to 1. So this is basically 1. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So here we have 3. And this is equal to 7. So we have 2 over 3 times log to base 4 of x plus one small. Let us apply the power rule to this. When we do that, we bring 2 down to the front. And of course, we already have 3 here. So this is now going to be 2 times 3, which is 6 times log to base x of 4. We take this over to the right hand side. So this is equal to 7 minus 3, which of course is equal to 4. So the equation is now 2 over 3 times log to base 4 of x plus 6 times log to base x of 4 is equal to 4. Now look at this. Here we have log to base 4 of x. And here we have log to base x of 4. Now remember that log to base a of b is equal to 1 over log to base b of a. So we can write this equation as 2 over 3 times log to base 4 of x plus 6 over log to base 4 of x is equal to 4. And now to simplify our calculation, let us do a substitution. Let log to base 4 of x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation becomes 2d over 3 plus 6 over d is equal to 4. And now to get rid of these two fractions, let us multiply through this equation by 3 over 2d. Here we have 2 over 3d multiplied by 3 over 2d. This is going to cancel that, leaving us with d squared. Here we have 6 over d multiplied by 3 over 2d. d is going to cancel and 2 is going to cancel, leaving us with 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Here we have this is going to cancel this. 2 times 3 is 6d. And rearranging this quadratic equation, we have d squared minus 6d plus 9 is equal to 0.
and we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. All we have to do is to find the factors of 9 that add up to minus 6. And of course, they are going to be minus 3 and minus 3. Because minus 3 times minus 3 is equal to plus 9. While minus 3 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 6. So when we factorize this, we have d minus 3 squared is equal to 0. And of course, when we take square root of both sides of this equation, we have that d minus 3 is equal to 0 and d is equal to 3. So now that we have found a value for d, we go back to this substitution. From here, we have that log to this 4 of x is equal to 3. And of course, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 4 to the power 3 is equal to x. So from here, we have that x is equal to 4 to the power 3, which of course is equal to 64. So the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is 64. Now to check our answer, let us substitute x equal to 4 to the power 3 into the original equation. When we do that, we have log to base 4 of the square root of 4 to the power 3 to the power 4 over 3 plus 3 times log to base 4 to the power 3 of 16 times 4 to the power 3. Of course, 3 is going to cancel this. And we have log to base 4 of 4 to power 4 to power half. Once more, the half is because of the square root. Here we have plus 3 times log to base 4 to power 3 of now, of course, you know that 16 is 4 squared. So this is going to be 4 to the power 2 multiplied by 4 to the power 3. This is going to divide that to leave 2. And we have log to base 4 of 4 squared plus 3 times log to base 4 to the power 3 of now. When two numbers with the same basis multiply themselves, we simply add the exponents. So this is going to be 4 to the power 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So from here we have log to base 4 of 4 squared plus. Now look at this term. What we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule twice. Once we are going to bring down this exponent, that is 5, to the front. And then the second time, we are going to pick up this multiplier to become an exponent. When we do that, this term becomes 5 times log to this 4 to power 3 of 4 to power 3. And at this point, we must remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So log to base 4 of 4 to power 2 is equal to 2. And log to base 4 to power 3 of 4 to power 3 is equal to 1 because log to base a of a is equal to 1. So here we have 5 times 1. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. And this is exactly what we have on the right-hand side of the original equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.